بسم الله وبالله وعلى ملة رسول الله فزت ورب الكعبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون that we commemorate the martyrdom of Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam indeed he was the first one to recognize the truth and to express his faith in the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi when he declared it he was the closest to the Prophet right from his childhood till the last breath of the Prophet in this earthly life he had the highest level of knowledge in this ummah amongst all the companions if you look at the reports and records of his sayings they outstrip all the collective combined narrations of all the other companions from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa and without surprise the Holy Quran also praises Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salam in many verses. For example, in Surah Bayyina, chapter 98, verse number 7, Ali, whose Iman was at the level of the highest level of conviction, Whereby he tells the Alab Yamani that Ma kuntu a'abudu rabban lam arah I'm not the one who will worship a Lord whom I've not seen with my spiritual eyes, eyes of the heart, not eyes of the head. Ali, whose conviction about an Iman, about Akhirah was at the level where he declares even if the veils of invisibility were to be lifted and we could see the next world my conviction would not increase however the same Ali السلام, though he was blessed with great companions who followed him supported him indeed the majority of the Muslims declared their allegiance to him in the year 35 after Hijrah initially many of them followed him but over time, there was an unwillingness to continue to follow him and to struggle and to sacrifice. And therefore, Imam السلام, begins to complain about his companion. However, he also praised and appreciated and even aspired for certain companions. And this is what we need to remind ourselves on this important occasion. How to be the Khairul Bariya. Where are my good friends and brethren who are with me on this path towards the highest truth? Aina Ammar, Aina Ibn Tayyihan, Aina Dushahadatain, Khuzayma bin Thabit, Wa Aina Nuzara Uhum, Min Ikhwanihim. Where are my these close brethren? And then Imam alayhi salam in extreme anguish holds onto his beard and weeps, missing them, yearning for them. And then interestingly, he mentions six qualities of these companions whom he aspires and yearns for. And these are the six qualities we should try and struggle to imbibe in us and to develop in ourselves to become khayrul bariyya. Awi ala ikhwani. الذين تلوا القرآن فأحكموه. Why oh, miss these companions whose quality was that they recited the Quran with understanding, with reflection, with conviction. Whenever they came across an ayah about Jannah, they earnestly aspired for it. They would read the narrations of the past communities and strive to avoid their mistakes and they would act on their duty. And Imam السلام, describes these companions that they would recite the Quran, and they would deeply reflect on whatever is their duty to their Lord. The third and the fourth quality of these khayrul bariyya 
is that they would revive the Sunnah. In every situation, there is a model and there's a guideline from the Holy Prophet These companions will always keep the Prophet as their role model. And there is this temptation to misinterpret and follow desires or come under the pressure of the dominant society or the political repressive regimes and to give up one's faith and not to practice one faith or to create bid'ah and misinterpretations. These khayrul bariya followers of Imam Ali salam would fight against the bid'ah and practice the sunnah. And finally, the fifth and the sixth qualities, du'u lil jihadi fa'ajabu. And when they were asked to come and sacrifice and to struggle, they would respond eagerly. Imam alayhi salam during his five years of apparent khilafah had to struggle against the prophet seekers, against the power seekers, against indeed extremists, pious extremists. And that required a lot of struggle and sacrifice. And these companions were ready to follow the Imam. Finally, the Imam السلام, was overwhelmed by the opposition and he was struck a lethal blow on the eve of the 19th of Ramadan. As he lay on his deathbed, he said, Yesterday I was active with you. Today I'm paralyzed in front of you and a source of a lesson for you how temporary this dunya is and tomorrow I will leave your company the Ummah and humanity in general missed a great man let's pray to Allah to get tawfiq to develop these six qualities and become the khayrul bariya wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah